Hi, I'm Peter Matavish and welcome back to the second part of the Skewer Lines tutorial. So, as you can see, this is a photocopy of the previous question. We have the elevation plan done and our first auxiliary view with points C2, D2, A2 and B2. Now, the last video was the shortest distance between the two skewer lines. So find the, the shortest line that you can draw to join the two together. This time around, we're going to do the shortest horizontal distance. Okay, and the way it differs is how you do your auxiliary view, your second auxiliary view. All the setup is the same. You still have to make a plane of the two skew lines. You still have to find a true length and plan or, yeah, or elevations I do, I do. Project an auxiliary elevation with that true length and find your auxiliary view. So all that setup is still the same. But now for a second auxiliary view, because it's a horizontal short distance, we need to project parallel to the X1, Y1. Okay, we need to project parallel to that line there to get our second auxiliary view. So, project your four points up, and just like the last one, you're going to find your distances from the X1, Y1 back. So, put in a datum line, to save a bit of room. So there's our datum line, there's our lines projected up, our new x2, y2. And we're going to get our distances from the datum line back to our point. So you can see here, c1 is on the line. That means that c3 would be on the x1, y1 here. Find the rest now and mark in your auxiliary view. And again, this is going to be showing the screw lines intersecting. I'm going to give them, they're going to be crossing. Where they intersect gives you the shortest horizontal distance. Okay, so that point is the shortest horizontal distance. Project that point back to your auxiliary view. So this line here represents the shortest horizontal distance between the two screw lines. Now, unlike the previous video, I'm actually going to project that back and put it into the two views because what you should see is a line parallel to the horizontal plane in elevation because it's horizontal. The distance is horizontal, so it's parallel to the XY line. So project them back. So this is where it crosses the CD line. And this is where it crosses the AB line. So by joining Those points together, that's the point in plan, or that's the line in plan. Project them back up to the elevation. So this is where it crosses AB, and this is where it crosses CD. And you should get a line that is parallel to the XY line, or horizontal. And as you can see there, it is parallel to the X, Y line. It's horizontal. Okay, so just a little quick recap on that before we move on to the next one. Once you've done your first auxiliary view, it's how you project your second auxiliary view that determines how to find it, okay? So at this time, it has to be parallel to the X1, Y1. That's how you're projecting up your points. Find the shortest distance, shortest horizontal distance, and then just project back, okay? That's it done. And we're going to show you now how to do the shortest distance at an angle. So this is now the same question again. Again, you have your elevation plan and your auxiliary view. The last one we went out and our second auxiliary view was parallel to the X1, Y1. This time they're asking for, or they could ask for the shortest distance at an angle. So in this case, we're going to go at 30 degrees. So what you need to do is draw a line that is 30 degrees to the X1, Y1. Now, they can ask 
for a range of angles. I haven't seen it come up in the new syllabus, but it is a possibility. So this is the third option for shear lines. So that's 30 degrees to your X, Y line, or X1, Y1. And set up your adjustable head square to that angle and project your second auxiliary view at that angle. New X2, Y2. Four. We're going to get our distances from the X1, Y1 back to the plan for our new auxiliary review. Okay, so again, if you've seen your second oxide review, the two screw lines end up intersecting, crossing, and the point where they cross is your shortest distance at 30 degrees. So project that point back to your two oxide reviews, and that will give you a shortest distance, or to your first oxide review, and that'll give you a shortest distance at 30 degrees. And you can project back and see what it looks like in the two other views. That is how to find the shortest distance at an angle. And again, the angle can change, but that is the same setup. So, as you see with skew lines, the initial setup to find your first auxiliary review is the same no matter what they're asking you. It's the second auxiliary review that determines, or it's the way you project the second auxiliary review that determines what kind of distance you're getting. Okay, so the first video was shortest distance just in general, so you went perpendicular to the skew lines. This video then, the first bit was shortest distance, um, shortest horizontal distance, so you had to go parallel to the X1, Y1. And this is shortest distance at an angle, so you step off the angle from the X1, Y1. So again, as I said in the last video, this is a request you see here. So if there's any particular question you'd like to see done, or any element of DCG you'd like to see done, just let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope that helped. Okay, so we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.